Walkers, runners, and cyclists in the Allendale area of Austin say they are dealing with a scary situation. It's been escalating for the last couple of months. Neighbors have been telling police about the same man screaming and spitting at people going by and trying to start fights. They also tell KXAN's Aaron Cargile it recently turned physical. Even on a bone-chilling day, there's a lot of activity along Great Northern Boulevard. It's one of the things that make this neighborhood great is all the cyclists around and families and people walking their dogs. But Kevin McCree, who frequents this popular bike path between 2222 and West Anderson Lane, has called police a couple times after confrontations with the same guy. He was just kind of just being vulgar with people and yelling at a few people and runners and cyclists. And Kevin says he's been seeing him out here since November. It started with him giving cyclists the finger and just got worse from there. That's when he started like jumping out at me and trying to fight me and spitting at people. And he says like locos only and to get out of his neighborhood. And the last time Kevin saw him. Yeah, last Wednesday he was out here and it was cold too. So he's pretty determined. Kevin heard he got more aggressive recently, pushing a cyclist off their bike. I saw a post today about this guy and uh, just came up on the road just to look around. And Kelly Kirby is surprised he's never seen him and says word is spreading on neighborhood forums and cycling websites. In central Austin, Aaron Cargile, KXAN News. One person got a picture of the man and has been sharing it with neighbors on Nextdoor website. He also tells people he lives along Great Northern Boulevard. We reached out to Austin police about this situation but have not heard back. There's no word of any pending charges. Cyclists already face significant dangers when they're out on the streets of Austin. Austin police say at least two people riding their bicycles were killed in crashes with cars this year. And cyclists were involved in nearly 250 collisions. Just last Friday, a cyclist was seriously hurt when police say a drunk driver hit him. Many drivers do not realize what precautions they need to take around cyclists. According to state law, cars must stay at least three feet away from bikes on the road and trucks must keep at least six feet away. And cyclists do have the right to take the lane when they need it for safety reasons.